Hi. The most important thing you can do right now when all this craziness is going on in the world is to be love. To say yes to the high vibrations of love and no to fear. There's so much fear being pushed around out there and your job really truly is to hold your vibration high no matter what's going on around you. So that's what I want to talk about here today on this video. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And I like to talk about all things to do with you loving your life. That's what I do to help people is to clear the things that block them so that they can hold this higher vibration. Because anything that is not love is not you. All right? It's just stuff you're picking up from outside of you. And so since there's so much going on in the world, so many systems are unraveling as we're moving from the third dimension into the fifth dimension, a lot of things are breaking down and we're seeing the effects of all of that. So, I mean, it's good when things come up to the surface like this so that they can actually be released. But while this is going on, you don't want to have your own world, your own space, be so bombarded with that, that you lose yourself, right? So by holding this higher vibration, by continually making a conscious effort to be in a higher vibration, to choose love over fear, you not only help yourself, but you're actually sending that energy out and helping the whole world go through this transition. So, I mean, right off the bat, a good thing to start doing even if you don't know how to and I have a video that explains it I'll, I'll probably link it up in here somewhere um, but it's very easy sending love so you can just pull energy in pulling in this energy of love I've done a vi video on pulling energy in there's lots of little tools that I've done that so many people are putting out there that help you to stay and to maintain a higher vibration to be able to pop back into a higher vibration even when things present in your reality <laughs> okay so for right now i was just starting to talk about just pulling energy of love in pull it in from everywhere in the universe because it exists we are all made of love ultimately we are the energy of love that's our truest form our true light so you can pull that energy in right so you just make it a daily practice to just pull this energy of love in, pulling it in. And you'll find that as you pull this energy in, you allow this energy to come in, you can feel yourself moving into that vibration of love to where as you're pulling this energy in, you just have to send it out. Okay, so pulling energy in from everywhere it exists in the universe and then sending it right back out to the universe to all those people who haven't yet caught on to how to bring in the vibration of love for themselves. So we're going to assist those people who don't know how to do it yet. Or maybe there's a specific area of what's going on in the world that you would really like to send love to. Because there's a lot of that going on, right? So you can maybe even just focus your energy to so sending love to that particular problem, that particular situation. Because love does heal all things. So to prove it to yourself, the next time you find yourself kind of dipping into a lower vibration, try it. What do you have to lose? Just go sit somewhere quietly. M remove yourself from whatever might be going on around you that is distracting. Maybe just go outside and it, there's no right way to do it. You just, you can have your eyes closed and you have your eyes open. You just draw the energy away. You make a conscious choice to draw energy in, to pull energy in from everywhere in the universe. And specifically, we'll pull in the energy of love because basically you can pull anything in. You call the shots. You're the creator, right? So we're going to pull in this energy of love, this high vibration of love. Do it right now. Just pulling in this energy, letting it come in above you, around you, behind you, from every single angle, up from the earth. Just pulling in this energy of love. 
and see if you don't start to feel an expansion taking place or something shifting within you. And then as that energy builds, you'll know, draw more in, just draw in this beautiful energy of love. Right now, nothing matters in the world except for me drawing in this beautiful energy of love. You can say that in your head, right? Just say it, say it out loud, it doesn't matter. And then as you feel this energy building, right? Like it's really building, right? And it's extending further and further and further out. Then you can just send that very same beautiful energy, that loving energy out. So I like to send it out to everyone, everywhere, right? The planet, everything living on this planet, plants, animals, people, insects, everything. Sending the energy out. So that you begin to have this flow of love in and love out. Like always being in the flow of love. When you're in that flow of love, oh my God, it's just the greatest high there is. And you can feel it and it just lightens you up. And from there, you can ask for inspiration. You can ask questions to the universe. How can I contribute to creating change in this area? You know, what needs to happen here that will take us to a better place? Um, what is it about what's going on here right now that I can't see that is actually creating many more possibilities of joy and love and happiness for the planet? I mean, you can just keep asking so many questions. Like when you get in this flow of energy, that's what happens. And, and actually, the maybe, maybe not the first time or second time you do it, but the more you do it, you start to really feel yourself connecting to that flow because everything's energy. Right, so we want to flow with the higher vibrations, which is what I say, yes to love and no to fear, those lower vibrations. And some people are really stuck in those energies and you know, it's a choice. We can choose at any moment in time what we would prefer, what we want, right? We can choose it. So people think, that they have no choice yes you do have choice you just have to do it just allow yourself so anything that prevents you from knowing and being choice from having choice from deciding to choose something different anything that's preventing and forbidding that from happening for you in your life let's just uncreate and destroy it all right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds just letting it go okay that's the access consciousness clearing i may do that we'll see what comes up right how about this? Let's clear any vows, oaths, decisions you have ever made that forbid you and prevent you from making choice. Any beliefs and inner scenarios that you hold within you that dictate to you that it's not safe for you to choose. Wow. That's a big one. Let's pull that, send it to the light, and just replace it with this new way of being, this new belief that it's safe for me to choose, that I am able to choose, that I can walk through my day to day making new choices all the time. And anything that prevents you from knowing, believing that you can create choices that lift your life higher, that take you up into a better place in your life, well, let's uncreate and destroy all that. Times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Okay, start to just even tell yourself, okay, so I can choose something new. I can choose something different. Do I really want to go into this place of fear? Do I really want to buy into all the stories out there that are, in my opinion, designed to keep pull you out of your power? Do I want to allow that and go there? Or would I rather just be in this place of love, peace, love, joy. Like when I can be in the space of, and this is the challenging part, but when you can be in that space of love, you can also allow those people to have what they're choosing too. I'm just trying to get you to want to choose what's higher for you, right? We can all choose that. But the, the I guess the point that Spirit wants me to make here is to be able to have your choice and choose as you want to without judging people for the way they're choosing so that's a big thing okay that's why that's dropping in right now 
So many people are in judgment of what other people are choosing, what other people are choosing to believe. You know, I mean, we're all creators, right? We create our own life. Everything out there is a reflection of what's inside here. That's why I'm, my goal here is to inspire you to choose those things that light you up. Because when you're in that higher vibration and you're choosing things that make you feel good, you get more of that because the outer does reflect the inner. There is this law of attraction boomerang that what you send out comes back. So pay attention to that. So actually, I'm going to even, I think I'm just going to end this video here with my challenge to you to send love, choose love without judging others for being in fear but maybe open them up, if you can, if you have the opportunity, there's people around you who are choosing fear. Don't make them wrong, but just inspire them that they are they have other choices, that they can choose to feel better, you know? Maybe one way to do that is to help them see all the good that is actually around them so that they can actually connect to something. Well, yeah, that's going good in my life and that's going good in my life, but then the fear wants to pull you out to something else it's like, well, whose story is that? Is that really your story? Is that your truth? Feel in your heart. What feels true to you? Does it feel true to you to find ways to pull yourself into love and the possibility of love and the possibility that all this craziness is bringing more of this change to the planet because it is, because we're moving out of a third dimension, moving into a fifth dimension. We're going through, we're kind of jumping back and forth between the two, <laughs> kind of on this like bridge you might call the fourth dimension, where we're coming in and out. And it's fun because I'm glad that just popped in because there are days where I'm like, oh my God, I'm like happy, happy for no reason. Like there's nothing that happened. I'm just in this vibration and, and it feels so good. It's like, wow. So when that happens now, I totally acknowledge it. Thank you, universe. All right, cool. I'm in the I'm in 5D right now. But then, a couple of days later, I might not be there anymore. I might be caught up in something that is more of that 3D way of being of struggle and overcoming and you know rising above and all that kind of energy, right? Um, but the fun thing is that. I can look at that. It's like, okay, so this is coming up today. I was feeling great two days ago. So I'm just going to look at it. You know, energy just wants to be seen, right? You look at it and you like think about it or be with it. Maybe you just need, your body just needs to rest. Maybe that's all it comes down to. And then you can bring yourself back into the higher dimension. But the easiest, fastest way to do it is just to pull in love and send love. Or even if you feel like you don't know how to pull in love or you don't think it's possible, play with it because you'll be able to. Trust me, I know you can because I know if I can, so can you. Nothing different between me and you. Yeah, think about that. So um, just send it. If you feel like you can't pull the energy in, as you start sending out that energy of love, even if you're not sure you're feeling it or vibing it doesn't matter it's the intention you want to send love to this you want to send love to that you want to send love to all of your family all of your friends you know you want to you just like as you start sending love you start adding more and more to send love that's why now it's like i just send blanket love to the whole world <laughs> send it out there everywhere and and it makes me laugh it makes me chuckle like it is right now because that's what happens when you're in a high vibration so way to get there and a way to overcome all of this fear stuff out there is to bring yourself back to love to be the love be the love that you are be and hold the love that can bring solutions to everything out there right that energy of love is the healer heals everything so be the love say no to fear yes to love i hope that this video inspired you in some way and uh I would love you to, you know, like the video, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, the more you interact, even by just giving it a like, the easier it is for me to be able to be out in front of other, more and more people. I just want to spread this message of living through love, because that's what it's all about. I'll see you another time. Bye.